We're back at Jacktown today. This is one of my favorites here. The guy does a really nice job with these old sewing machines. Arrived at the big show. All right, it's uh, July Jacktown, and uh, I'm out here with my buddy John. It's uh, a little overcast today. We're gonna get a little bit of drizzle here and there, but we're gonna uh, walk around and see what we can find. Not so, uh, the tractors here today. Not the tractors. It's a tractor pool. Uh, weekend, so we're gonna have a lot of fun. Not sure what he's burning out of that. Maybe he's just getting it up to speed. Love this old tractor. Twenty two thousand sixty dollars from Wisconsin. Oh, that doesn't look good. I'll come back later when it's running. A bit jackassing around. Hey Rob, how you doing? Good, how you been? All right, what kind of machine you got here? Uh, this is a Gould Shaper 1870-ish. It's hard to tell on that. 
made in Newark, New Jersey. Uh, Gould was one of the founders of Gould and Everhard later on that they eventually made for modern shapers and gear cutters and things of that nature. And they probably made it to the 1950s, but this is probably their first example of a machine. So, very basic. And the ram moves uh, in the top of the casting here. The vise on the front. The front of the table is is T-slotted, so you can take the vise off and clamp work on that. And it probably had an angle plate that for a little bit bigger work on there. Uh, single speed, very basic gearing. So you can adjust the stroke by moving this pin. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. You move this, you move this pin up and down in this slot in the gear, and that changes the stroke of the, the, of the ram. Yeah. And then the position of the ram, in case your work is offset, you loosen this bolt here, and you can slide the ram to where, to where it is, where it's needed to be. Cool old machine. Yeah. All right, thank you. Okay. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Run, Forrest, run! Hey, there's my old buddy Gil. How you doing, Gil? Hey, Bob. How are you? All right, good. Nice hey, to see you. I love your collection. What do you got here? Well, I got a, this is a simple twin, three horsepower marine steam engine. Piston valve. It'll run on high pressure, high speed if you want it to. And it runs like a switch wash here. I'll demonstrate it real quick. Oh. Now that's yeah. running on only about two pounds per square inch. Mm -hmm. I'll turn that off. This is a compound steam engine model, and it's built from the castings of a Stewart triple expansion with the, the smallest cylinder, the low pressure, cut off and removed. So you have a compound. And the neat thing about it is it retains both your pumps that you get on the triple expansion store. Here's a Stuart regular size compound launch engine with a special marine bottom to it. So where were these manufactured? Who's making these things? These aren't manufactured. These are people buy the casting from Stuart Turner. Uh, so it's a, it's a model, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a heck of a hobby then, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah. 
I don't know who built this one, but he did a real fine job. This engine was built by Ray Hasbrook. Little bottle frame engine, mm -hmm. all made out of no casting here, all, all bar stock, round stock, uh, and a lot of water. And this we'll is see a little Ryder Erickson model. Fast working model, wow. And that works too. Yeah. Some real craftsmen out there. Yeah. And here, this one is a Reef Double Tangle. One of the very few with two dozen. All right, thanks for showing us your stuff, Gil. Well, can you All right, tell buddy. us about this? This is a model of, this is a two-cylinder version of the whole Caterpillar engine, which is normally a four-cylinder engine. So. These things are really works of art. This is a, this is a beautifully built model of a Galloway, one-third scale of a five-horsepower Galloway. Now this one was built by Bruce Moyer built this one. Hey, well, it's not working huh? Okay, let's head out into the uh, flea market for a little while while the, uh, we're waiting for the bigger tractors to come around. Lots to do here. Some guys collect coins, some guys collect sewing machines, and this guy collects hit or miss engines. Okay, the sun's out and it is hot. It's about 85 degrees today. Lots of stuff. All the uh, grass is starting to get dry now.
I did, but this time I take it out and put the battery in the cellar, then I put a full trickle charge in it before I put it in. And then I do have a battery tender that I put on it. for about four hours today it was getting really warm and john and i had had enough uh walking around i uh, hope you like these sights and sounds it's a lot of fun going to jacktown it's fun talking to the different vendors and uh, the, just the regular folks there so uh hey you guys know the drill if you like my content please like comment and subscribe and until next time i'll see you on another episode of bob the woodshop